What's up guys? Today we're going to be playing around with some thermochromic pigment. We're going to take this little Xbox 360 controller and we're going to give it some cool color changing effects so that as you're holding it and it gets warm, it's going to really start to change colors. So stick around while we figure this out and do this together. All right, so first off, um, <clears throat> I've ordered these particular set of pigments off of Amazon. And I'll put a link down below so that if you're interested and you want to do this at home, you can get yourself the same, same exact set up for yourself. And it, you know, I just literally just opened up the bag. This is how it comes. Um, there's some, there's like other stuff in here. What is this? Cool, so there's like some extra little packs in there. I don't know what that's about, but let's see. EHC Glow, more than 25 years of laboratory experiments. <clears throat> Thermochromic pigment. The temperature rises over 88 degrees. The pigment turns transparent, right? So the thing is that it doesn't really change colors. It turns transparent, but the thing, if you lay it over another color and then it goes transparent, obviously it's changing color from the one to the other. So you have to, uh, again, have your area already ready. And then we have our colors here. Um, and we, it's only about a gram of each color, which is enough to make about a good four ounces. Uh, maybe a little bit more and you could stretch it a little bit, I guess, but not much more than that. And we have all these colors to play with. And that's kind of why I picked this particular set so that I could have some different colors to play with. All right, so here's what I'm gonna use. We're gonna use Createx 4050 Gloss. The reason we're using gloss specifically is because it allows the most transparency. So when you want the colors to shine through, the gloss is gonna really allow that the most. You can use matte, you can use whatever one you want, uh, but for me particularly right now, I want to use gloss. Um, I want a gloss finish and I want the max transparency um, so that the yellow and the red from the controller really shine bright. I'm going to use a little bit of 4011 reducer to help our mixture flow and then I have these uh, little bottles here that are just cleaned out <clears throat> and we're going to use the blue azure and green pigments here all right so pro tip before you start you uncap all your bottles and you want to do your powder first before you do your 4050 and stuff just because it'll be easier to get it into the bottle especially if your bottles are completely dry right also it helps to have some mixing sticks so you don't mix some colors in between it'll make it really easy to pour be careful when opening these, right? You don't want to get it everywhere. And for some reason, they felt like it was necessary to put a sticker right. Alright guys, so now we have our colors mixed up. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and start with the blue here. Don't forget, these are not 
color changing paints, they go transparent. So you need to have your second color as your base coat. And what I've done with these here is I start off by laying a silver base coat and then I use some red and some tequila um, yellow candy to lay down some effects here on our controller. All right, and then I laid down some bleed checker over that um, just so that we don't get interf any interference or bleeding onto our thermochromic colors. So again, I'm just gonna take the blue. see there I have them um, all finished up with their last uh, coats final coats they've been drying for about an hour and all I'm going to do now is lay some regular um, 2k clear over them which is going to make them really glossy and really smooth and then uh, they'll be ready and nice and done once they dry so let me just lay the clear and it'll be all ready go Alright guys, so there you have it. We have our nice controller all color changing. I got a little bit of solvent pop um, in the clear, but that's my own fault for being careless with the heater. Uh, but a couple things I do want to go over with you guys uh, before you do try this at home. Uh, one is make sure you shake up uh, your paint pigment mixture like really good. Make sure you shake it up good like five minutes, ten minutes. The longer you shake it, the better. Even if you want to let it set overnight, um, that's perfectly fine. Um, Two uh, is kind of build up your coats, right? So we're all gonna want to make it blue, blue as blue as you can or, or whatever color you want to use. Make sure to build up the coats. Let them dry, make another coat, let it dry, build up another coat. Don't, don't force the blow dryer on it. Don't do anything crazy. Just kind of let it dry and do its own thing. Um, obviously for today's video, I used the blow dryer just to show kind of how it works. Um, but really, you know, just take your time building up the tone and, and you'll have the best results. 
Um, again, make sure you shake it up really good. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Other than that, I could say it works pretty good. It works flawlessly. It changes colors. It's changing back to the blue. Oh, one more thing I want to note uh, before you guys go. Those colors. Um, so I was expecting more of like a bright green and a bright blue. Kind of how like they match the, the packets. But obviously that's going to be like over white, right? So the, the to get that extreme bright coverage, you're going to want to put it over white. But I didn't want it to go from blue to white. So that's why I did it over yellow. And, you know, it gives it that heat changing effect. So you can tell where the controller is getting warm and where it's getting cold. Um, but like I said, if you want to get those bright colors, you just do it over white. It works just fine. Other than that, um, I think that's pretty much all I got to say. Have fun with it. Uh, show me your results. Tag me on social media if you want to. Um, if you want to show me, or if you want to go ahead and join up on the Discord, post your work up in the Discord. I always like seeing that. Um, as always, the link to these pigments to the 4050 and the reducer will be down below, so you can check it out and try this at home. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Later. colors to play with. Now I've done this in the past and used these or not these specifically, but I've used thermal chromic pigment in the past. And one of the major issues that I always had was that it's not very UV um, safe, right? So if you expose it to sunlight um, for any amount of time, it really starts losing as a, as a like the effect, right? Like, so like, the purple would start turning clear and after a while you couldn't even see it. It was just clear all the time. Uh, same thing with the black and stuff like that. So it, I was scrolling Facebook and uh, one of these things came out where so there's a company selling airbrush thermochromic pigment, right? Um, which I thought was, was uh, I was like, wait a minute. I was like, unless that has some kind of special UV um, coating, uh, you know, it's it's really gonna it's really gonna fade out and not last. And I don't know how they could sell something like that. But then it, I thought about it and I was like, oh man! Nowadays we have the Createx uh, 4050, and uh, you know that will probably help a lot with uh, with the UV. Um, resistance of this stuff. So right here it says you get some gifts included. They're not being very generous, but cool enough. <laughs> if a police officer pulls you over with these, you're gonna have a hard time explaining what the hell is what, man. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you that right now. Um, so we have three little different baggies here. can't really read what it says on there, but it says here, one is photochromic UV activated glow-in-the-dark chameleon pigment powder and glow-in-the-dark pigment powder just for your testing. Uh, so, okay, so these are U, uh, UV reactive pigments here. So yeah. That, that's pretty cool, so I'll keep these in mind for maybe the next thing. Photochromic, huh? That's cool. Well, anyway, we'll keep these and we'll set these aside for now. I'm probably not going to need all this. Right this second, I just want to show you guys everything that came in this little bag. Um, go ahead and set those back in there. And for today, I'm probably going to mix up some of this blue here. Um, ooh, some of this looks pretty good. Uh, we already have yellow on the thing here, and maybe some of this green. <sighs> right? So the whole idea here is that I want... There's a little bag. Oh, that little bag was for the... That's fine. Um, the controller is already orange and yellow, right? So I don't want to lay more orange and yellow. I want to lay colors that are going to kind of be completely different. 
so that when these go transparent, right, when, when I, I'm holding the controller, when you're using it, um, it starts going transparent and it starts showing the red and the yellow coming through the blue and the green in the areas where it's getting warm, obviously. So that's what we're going to be doing today. 